My Little Pony? More like My Little Failure. I don't know if you noticed this, but the April Fool set and the Transformer set are the two NFT sets that have sold out most recently, and they were the two that we hyped up. Coincidence? Why you got a hat on? Because we switched places. I got my pompadour hair. You got a hat over that oily hair. We're looking good. Okay, leave my hair alone first of all. Is it oily? Yes or no? Very. See, I was right. Let's get to this video. My Little Pony Series 2. I just want you to know, I did not think this was gonna work out well at all. I had a feeling it was gonna be a big old fail. Even though the last My Little Pony set back in 2022 sold out. Yeah, and there were almost double of the card packs of that drop. Ow! Series 2 had 19,000 packs. Yeah, Series 1, guess how many? You don't even know because you're dumb. Tell you. No, no I, I got in 36,000. He doesn't know. I do. <laughs> and this time with 19,000 card packs, they burned 30, what, 38 point something percent? 39.48 percent. That is a whole lot. That's almost half of the card packs burn. Yeah, and last year, they sold 36,000 card packs. They couldn't even sell 19,000 this time. If we take it to Pop and Stock, which is one of our favorite websites when we're talking about the NFT card packs, NFTs in general, when it comes to Funko. This actually gives you all the stats that you need, so it's poppinstock.com. On this one, unsold packs burned by drop, 4,505 standard, 3,018 premium, which is 39.48% of total supply, yes. which is crazy. I feel like that's happening a lot lately, where they're having to burn a lot of card packs. Then if you go down here, the royalty set is $41.03. That's low. That's very low. And then if we look at the Grail, Grail's at $96.77. Typically, very Typically, low. Grails are like in the $300, $400 range at least at first. I mean, I've seen them like around $200, but typically between like $300 and $400. Then Applejack, a legendary, $18.05. Retail. And Princess Twilight Sparkle, $21.99. There is virtually no value here. So those people out there who bought a ton of card packs, will they even get back what they put in? Well, it's a big fail. If they're My Little Pony fans, maybe they'll get happiness. My Little Pony just needs to giddy up and get out of here because they're not selling. Did you just say giddy up and get out of here? Yeah, they're ponies, Heather. I really want to bully you right now. Most of the time you can find out how popular something is by looking at the amount of likes on what a Funko News Source posts. And on this one by Dish Trackers, one of our friends that we always talk about, 159 total likes on this post saying that the queue is open. Well, let's be honest here though. People who were interested were probably like going to the queue and waiting in it and probably not scrolling so much on social media. I'm just being like nice about it. So here's the funny thing. You already have somebody here asking, how am I able to get it in real life? Got a premium pack, got nothing. How hard is it to get a physical redemption? Th that's, that's the amount of you comments. didn't read the rest of the that comment though that Jen decided to buy one standard and hit the grail. Oh, I didn't even see that. You're right. You just stopped. You didn't even read the rest of it. I figured it was over. No. Well, they, look at her coming out with grail. a standard and hitting a grail. Congratulations. Hitting that grail very hard. I got to tell you something though. If we're going to sit here and talk about these ponies, they actually look good. That pony Fire emoji, fire emoji, fire emoji. That's a good Funko Pop. That's a good looking pony. But don't go ahead and say that. That's I right. like the orange eyelashes. That's what the Bruni say. Please stop. I might get some orange eyelashes to try to seduce you. Yes, yeah, not going to work. So then there's a post here that says the amount of packs that were burned. Congratulations to the people who got them. These will be very limited. I did get the master set. That is very true. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's an upside to it. But 39% burn. But do people actually want them even though they're going to be limited, right? Because if people weren't buying card packs, they weren't that popular and they burned a ton, do people actually give a crap? 
you're right, the, the value does reflect how much these items are wanted. So whether it's limited or not, like you could have these super duper limited pops. For all we know, there might only be like 300 of some of these, right? Right. Like when they actually get into the world. But they could be worth less than unlimited pops, or I don't want to say unlimited, but not limited pops. Common pops. Yeah, because people might not actually want them. I don't know. It, it's really hard to say. I mean, they're very cheap on the market right now. If you feel like these are going to be limited, you might as well go and start buying them. Yeah. That's what you should do. Because if you, if you think that this is going to turn out to be real good, go and buy them right now. Although I don't think there's going to be much value out of any of this stuff, personally. I mean, the only one yeah. I think is possibly the Grail. And that's it. I really like the Daybreaker. Oh, great news. Fire baby fire? Burn baby burn. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I not be in the video anymore? This is like yesterday when you messed up the really simple math. And you had to restart the whole video. <laughs> Something's going on in my brain. I don't know what it is. <laughs> fire, baby, fire. I thought, I actually uh, thought it had a good chance to sell out since it had such a low pack quantity. I me too. I, I guess. I don't know. I don't think this stuff is very popular. Well, I mean, what did sell out the first time? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How that, to but okay, listen, though. That's when people were like crazy about the NFT. I don't pops. know how to read this stuff anymore because yeah. Funko is losing popularity. So it has to be like a killer product in order for it to sell out. I bought a few packs just because I wanted some Wax XP. I mean, that's Wax a, P. Or Wax P. That's the reason why people do it. It's yeah. so they can gain a little cash. That way they can use it for future drops. Yeah. Yeah, because... Um, the wax P is like hard as hell to buy. I try yeah. buying it. I hate going through the process. The process you got to give like horrible. your social security number. It's nuts. Maybe they stop releasing terrible waves now. Probably not, but one can dream. I don't know what Funko is going to do with this NFT thing. They got to step up their game. This is trash. I mean, in reality though, is it just people are not interested in My Little Pony? Is it not good looking to people who are interested in My Little Pony? Because to me, that one right there on the screen, that that I believe that's the daybreaker. That's daybreaker. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a good looking piece. It is. But outside of that, like, it, are these like what people want? Have they done any of these before? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not a My know. Little Pony fan. Even the King Sombra is like kind of an interesting looking Funko. It looks like if My Little Pony were a Transformer. Applejack and Princess Twilight Sparkle, I think they've already made those before, and they look sort of boring to me. Really? Like, there's I nothing think they're special cute, but yeah, I agree. I feel like those are something you could pick up off the shelf. Look, there's uh, somebody posting a GIF with trash, dumping into a landfill. Wasted my money on these, never again. Yeah, for the most part, people just don't care about any of this. Yeah. So, would you like to talk about what was redeemed last time? Because I find that very interesting, okay? Because they did sell out last time. The numbers for this set are going to be nowhere near Series 1. Remember Freddy Funko as Spike, the dinosaur-looking guy? He looked look like, like Barney. Barney. Yeah. Yep. 1,982 were redeemed out of 2,400. Whoa. Which is good for a royalty. Yeah. Mod Pie was a legendary. 1,437 out of 1,550. Then there was Princess Luna, which was a legendary. 1,438 out of 1,550. Queen Chrysalis, which was a legendary. One you have. Yeah, I love that pop. I don't even care about My Little Pony. I don't know anything about it, but I love that she looked sort of emo. 1,465 were redeemed out of 1,550. Wow, that's a lot redeemed. Sunset Shimmer was a legendary, 1,449 out of 1,550. And for the Grail, 931 out of 999. Jeez, that's a lot that were redeemed. Yeah, so let's talk about the Grail really quick. Based off of the numbers here, and I'm, I'm going to get a little technical for a minute. So, 
We've talked about this on the channel, but as a refresher to anyone who may be watching right now that has not heard us talk about this, the way that these cards work is there is a pool of all of the cards just sitting there digitally. Yeah, they're not already in card packs. Yeah, so you can buy a card pack and when you open it, it pools cards from, from the, pool. the pool, yes, of cards. So when they burn packs, all of those grails and all of those legendaries and all of those cards in general are still in that pool. Right. It just depends on the randomness of it, who pulls what. So they don't actually burn cards, they just burn the packs. So not all of the cards will be pulled. Does that make sense? Exactly. It's like instead of burning the pond, they're burning the fishing rod. That's very smart. Except you can't burn water, so... Instead of sucking it dry, the pond, you burn the fishing pole. Is that better? A little bit, sure. Do I have to make it more adult for you? That's how I understand things. With that being said, I don't want anyone to assume that they are burning actual cards in the packs. However, I would like to sort of compare last time's redemption numbers with the amount burned on this set. Okay. If that makes sense. It, it makes no sense so, at all, because I'm, I'm a big old dummy, but okay. I can't hear this. This, this might only make sense to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like reaching too far. So you want to talk about each one of these pops, right? Y yeah, in a way. So really quick, the grail from series one, there were 931 out of 999 redeemed. That's a good amount. This grail is 999 pieces as well. Yeah. Right. If only 61% were actually redeemed, then it would be 605 out of 999. Wow. Which that is cuts super it very low. low. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense to you? Is that even yeah, worth no, like discussing in this video? I guess because that number is drastically lower yeah. for each one of these pieces based off of the math. Yeah, it's it's just very interesting. Like so many were but, redeemed last time. Well, how time. about the legendaries? Series one, the legendaries that were redeemed were 1,982 out of 2,400. Only 61% possibly got redeemed. It would have been down to 1,464. So roughly a thousand less than the 2400. Wow. Yeah. So, and that's just going off of numbers from last round. I don't even, how many are the royalty here? Royalty's 2000. So if only 61% were redeemed, that would be 1,220 out of 2,000. Oh, the, for the royalty. Yeah. And wow. with that being said, not everybody gets the royalty as we saw. So spike the royalty had 1,982 redeemed out of 2,400. So even less than wow, the amount yeah. were redeemed. So you would imagine, I mean, that would probably drop down to half. Yeah, the royalty like is- 1,000 out of 2,000. Royalty could be rough because you have to collect all the common, uncommon, rare, and epic cards. And some people don't want to go through the slog of collecting everything. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of hard work, a lot of trading. You get a much better chance at getting the royalty, of course, if you purchase more packs. But when you purchase more packs, even if you get doubles, you can like trade with your friends. Right, exactly, which makes it fun for me. That's the part I like about collecting the NFTs. Yeah, you know what part I like collecting about the NFTs? is pulling the legendaries and grails. I mean, that's fun in the moment. From like a standard pack. But going around and going I'd on I'd rather your just little, have it all. Going on your little adventure and collecting all the cards, that's fun. I'd just that's rather have it. it all. People don't understand that. I'd just rather have it all. Based off of even the one comment we read, that person didn't know how to do any of this. Yeah. People are still in the dark on how to do the NFT thing. I bet if you're watching right now, I bet there's a very decent percent amount of people who are watching this video that still don't understand any of this. In my opinion, it is very tricky to understand. However, it's easier because we researched the heck out of it because you've participated in it and we've had to give information in videos. So this set didn't do well at all. What a big pile of garbage. Hopefully, Funko brings out some sets that we actually give a crap about. The Star Wars set wasn't very good. No. The Disney set wasn't very no. good. This My Little Pony set wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. However, Transformers reign supreme. It's sold out. And you want to know why? You're looking at them. It's all because you f***ed Unicron. 110,000%.
So I'm just going to read it from trash to landfill. Landfill being the highest. Like the best? Le the worst. Oh. Landfill! Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, aren't they all bad? <laughs> Tomorrow's a big day for Mischief Toys and Coven of Mischief members. We're going to be dropping Initiation to Monstro along with his pin. They both look amazing, and we think you're going to love him. So make sure, Coven of Mischief members, that you've checked your email, you know the time, you know where to be, and make sure you're signed in on the webpage so you have a good chance at getting this one. If you're not in the Coven of Mischief, it is an annual membership that drops twice a year. We have a Coven of Mischief initiation coming sometime in June, so keep up to date with Mischief Toys emails. We recommend subscribing to the newsletter and following us on social media at Mischief Toys on Instagram and on Facebook in our Mischief Toys group, which is called Mischief Toys for all of the most up-to-date information. For those who are new to Mischief Toys and don't know what Covenant Mischief is, it's an annual membership that we release twice a year where you get a really cool item from the Covenant of Mischief and you also get an account on MischiefToys.com where you can buy special Covenant of Mischief merch and also Covenant of Mischief only figures like this Initiation Demonstro. So make sure you check back with Mischief Toys around June of 2024. We'll have a brand new initiation from Coven of Mischief. Guys, let us know what you think about the My Little Pony thing and also Initiation to Monstro. We want to hear all of your thoughts and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Heather Coy, Joe Grioli, Iz, Leslie, Fawaka, John Cunningham, Cody Laws, Matthew Watt, Sativa Shower, and Jeff Lopez. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys are amazing. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. We go live every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. And we post content pretty much every single day. So come back and check us out. And also, as we mentioned, go to mischieftoys.com, sign up for our newsletter, and follow us on Instagram at mischieftoys. If you want to be a patron on our Patreon, check out patreon.com slash castlecast to show your support to the channel. All right, that's all we got for you in this episode. We appreciate you staying until the end. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.